When those meant to keep us safe start looking like the bad guys, things get really confusing. Imagine the chaos when they actually get caught. That's the story we're diving into, where safety and danger mix up in a surprising way. Discover four jaw-dropping instances where phony cops come to grips with the fact that they've been busted. First up is our suspect, Casey Williams, who had a real rifle in his car while pretending to be a cop. On April 8, 2021, some people told the officers they saw a police car with flashing red and blue lights stopping regular folks. The officers showed up soon after to check things out. Casey told the officer he was an off-duty cop working a special duty detail for Watchmen in Cleveland. I work for uh, Cleveland Watchmen. We're a security company that hires only off-duty police officers to do traffic control. But the officer got suspicious when Casey suddenly switched and said he was just a security guard. As an off-duty police officer? No, I'm working as a security guard. Each time the officer asked Casey a question, his answers didn't make sense. The officer then told him to show his ID and badge, the same ones he was showing to people, to check if he was a real cop or just pretending. After a bit, more cops showed up, and the first officer filled them in on what was going on and why he was suspicious of Casey. When another officer took a look at the badge, it turned out to be fake, just made of plastic. Another cop came and checked Casey's story. See, this is who he works for, which is, he's in the military. Yeah, that's green front of He's in the military. So he says he now works for the village of Glenmont, Ohio. He used to work in Pickaway County, actually, so you're currently not. She confirmed that Casey used to work in Pickaway but got fired. She also made sure that the badge Casey had was definitely a fake. This is what he was displaying. It's fake. <laughs> that's cool. Well, maybe that's he is awesome. The situation began to intensify for Casey. The cops collected all the proof against him and finally agreed that he was definitely pretending to be a cop. Which he can work for a company and he can regulate traffic. I know, yeah. but he worked Look, for them. He, he worked for Pickway. What's his name? Uh -oh. That's a maid badge, that's not our badge. Right, yeah. We don't yeah. provide those and we don't approve those. Things started to escalate for Casey when the officers asked if he was a commissioned police officer. He continued to avoid the question. Casey finally understood how serious it was, and he begged the officers not to mess up his career. Courtesy, man to man, please do well, not ruin my career. Please, please. However, please. the officers weren't about to go easy on him. The officers then asked Casey to cooperate with them and remove his armed belt, after which they handcuffed him and proceeded to search his car. While searching his car, the cops found something that made the case way more serious. There was a fully loaded rifle in the trunk. Right away, they arrested Casey without wasting any time. Once everything was sorted out, Casey got taken to Franklin County Correctional Facility. He got released after his court appearance on his own recognizance. In contrast to our first suspect, the next one was just enjoying the power of being a cop, 19-year-old Jackson Johns. An Oklahoma police officer stopped him because they got reports about someone pretending to be a cop, stopping people for no reason, and being really mean. When the cops questioned him, John has said he was from Tennessee and worked as an off-duty police officer. I, I'm just going to take out the best, man. I'm from Tennessee. So. But that made the cops suspicious because the place where they stopped him was super far from Tennessee. You're a deputy sheriff? I, I, well, I mean, I work at the sheriff's office. Okay. So, I mean, what? Were you a corrections officer? When they asked him why he was wearing his police uniform if he was off-duty, he didn't have an answer. The cops asked for papers to prove Jones was a cop but he couldn't show any. That made the officers even more suspicious. You don't have like an access card or an ID badge or anything for the facility that you work at? I don't. Now, they're sure there's something fishy about this guy, and they're determined to figure out what he's up to. When questioned by the police about the alcohol bottles discovered in the car, Jones flatly denied drinking, insisting that his girlfriend was the one who drinks. And you got alcohol in the vehicle. Well, it's not mine. It's my girlfriend. And I don't drink. So. But that didn't add up, because he was all by himself in the car. The reports the officers got also said he was traveling alone. Something didn't match up. When Jones gets out of the car, you can see he's wearing a complete police uniform with a sheriff badge on his shoulder and handcuffs on his waist. Everything points to a big problem because it's not his area. And even if it was, he's not supposed to walk around in that uniform and arrest people in public. Something was definitely off. 
With Jones agreeing, the officer decides to check the car carefully. But before doing that, the officer tells him to take off his jacket and all the stuff that makes him seem like a cop. Then, the officer takes Jones to his police car. Jones tries to act like the officers are his buddies by asking to sit in the front seat, but the officer says no and tells him to sit in the back. The officers ask to speak with his supervisor, thinking it would confirm who Jones really was. But things didn't go as planned. The phone number Jones provided turned out to be fake, or at least not linked to any real police department. Well, we, we want to talk to a supervisor. I mean, it's on my phone. In your phone? All right, I'll go grab it. It looked like Jones was hoping the officers would cut him some slack when the call went to voicemail, but it didn't go the way he thought. So it went to a voicemail. So that's like not an official. The situation took a turn for the worse when the person Jones had pulled over showed up and totally debunked his story. Because he was dressed like a cop. Yeah. He had a sheriff thing, but it had sheriff written on the side right here. Right. And I didn't know who you was. I was kind of curious. I lived down the road. I was kind of seeing what was going on. And I was staring at you to see who you was. Not only did the witness say that Jones was stopping people without any right to do so, but they also said that Jones told him he was an officer from Wilson Town in Oklahoma. This set off alarms for the officers, because in the beginning, Jones told them he was from Tennessee. The officers quickly decided that their reasons were sufficient to arrest him, and they immediately returned to the patrol vehicle to do so. Next up is Jaredson Mackey, 33 years old, who, on July 20th, 2022, supposedly had his retired police cruiser's red and blue lights flashing on the highway. Soon after, a cop from the Ackworth Police Department saw him, started following, and told him to pull over to the side so they could figure out what was happening. Initially, Jaredson claimed to the officer that he was an off-duty hero responsible for handling emergencies on highways. He said his car should be registered under the Georgia Department of Transportation. I'm off-duty hero operator. Oh, off-duty yeah. hero operator? How you doing, Chief? Hey. I was, I'm off-duty operator. I guess working off. However, the registration was in his name not the department's, immediately raising concerns for the police chief. The suspicion increased when they found out he was navigating through traffic while off duty. See red lights, I saw red lights when you pulled out. Yeah, that's right, that's when it activated to the back. Yeah, where's your ID? He was given a citation for illegal operation of an emergency vehicle and was temporarily released. But after checking with the GDOT, it turned out he used to be a hero operator, but got fired in January, thankfully. The officer's sharpness stopped them from getting fooled, and they arrested Mackey for pretending to be a cop two days later. He got released on a $2,500 bond. Every now and then, real cops find themselves in trouble, not for pretending to be someone else, but because their mistakes can lead them straight to jail. This is what happened with our next suspect. In the early morning hours of October 29, 2023, officers responded to a call from a woman who called 911 to report her husband, Mitchell. Upon reaching the scene, the officers spotted a man parking his truck, seemingly ready to make a run for it. They told him to step out of the truck and show his hands. You're under arrest! Put your hands in the air! Put your hands up! All right, Doss, move up. As the officers were getting ready to handcuff him, he admitted that he had been a cop for more than 35 years and was currently off duty. I've been a cop for 35 years. Well, then you gotta listen. I know. Then why didn't you listen? <laughs> Uh, don't blame me. Soon after, the officers guided him to the police car, and he started explaining the real events that brought them to the scene. The officers continually reminded him that if he was indeed a fellow officer, he should cooperate with them. Michial was finally arrested and taken into custody. If you enjoy real crime stories like these, don't forget to subscribe.